Thank you for such an energizing video. I mean, uh, it has been a uh, great pleasure to be here and uh, talking in front of such a great audience. Um, my name is Sachin, and I lead the Lighthouse practice for which you just saw the video. Um, and we have just scaling up uh, massive big time in the last three years, almost doubling our business and businesses for the clients that we work for. Um, and it's been an immense pleasure to do that. So uh, the to today's session is around modern data platforms. And I'm going to talk the least on modern data platforms and give you a little bit of journey of how it has been uh, in the last three decades in the world of data. And where are we heading towards in the next decade? And to be able to do that, I'm going to take a little bit of analogy of uh, our space mission or moon mission, the Chandra Chandrayaan-3. And uh, you know, we all know yesterday, Chandrayaan-3 just entered to the fourth orbit. And in my analogy of data, we're going to go into the fourth orbit one by one by one. And so here is the, the rocket ship analogy that I was talking about. So I'm going to take you back in year 1990 to 2000, a decade era, where we saw the emergence of database systems. We saw companies like Oracle came up to life. We saw a lot of ERP companies boomed around SAP and PeopleSoft, those kind of companies which were making ERP solutions, CRM solutions. And that was boosting the productivity of organizations, manufacturing giants, industrial giants. It was actually the peak of industrial era too. And in that journey, if you really look at, it created new big multi-billion dollar businesses. Companies like Oracle, companies like SAP, companies like even Amazon was born during those times, and you know, the internet was just born. I mean, if you really look at it, that era, the physical ledgers moved to the digital ledgers, and we started collecting the data. So that was a year of creation of the digital data in the first place. So that was that you know, beginning of our digital data journey. And in that decade, while we collected the data, we created the data, we needed interactions to be captured. The whole decade went into collecting the transactions. Now, the next decade, we wanted a platform, we wanted the systems, we wanted the technology systems to be able to not just collect the transactions, but also now capture the interactions. And that was the need of the next decade. So let's take the look of what happened in 20, 2000 to 2010. In this year, we saw very different type of companies came to life. Google was born during this time. You know, we started collecting data from people's searches, and then we wanted to get into the fastest information possible. And such a vast amount of unstructured data, crawled, captured, indexed, was a very, very difficult task. And way back in 2003, um, a Google scholar wrote a paper on distributed computing, which few years later was read by a gentleman called Doc Cutting in, in the labs of Yahoo, and Apache Hadoop was born. And that was the era of distributed computing, farms of servers. I was uh, honored to be part of his core team uh, and committed to the open source Hadoop. Uh, and, and that was the era where you know, we got tons and tons and farms of servers distributing the load, not just capturing the interactions, but also started capturing the transactions. I mean, not just capturing the transactions, but the touch points, which is the interactions. And that was new multi-billion dollar, multi-hundreds of billion dollars where com companies were created. So the beautiful thing is in each of this era, there was an emergence of new type of companies and new type of businesses. Some businesses, you know, rode this rocket ship, some businesses died, some businesses slowed down, and this was the era where the new set of companies emerged. Taking back and taking forward from the next gen um, era was an era where we were talking about how do we maintain this data? While the server farms were becoming big and big and big, and I can tell you I managed a 5,000 node Hadoop cluster way back in 2008, 2009, 
and we were capturing all sorts of searches that people were doing on that search engine of Yahoo and many more sites like finance and homepage and uh, messenger. All of that data was very difficult to manage on those servers. The, the whole IT ecosystem became a lot more complex. In fact, if you would have known, been banking those times, you know, banks were the first to adopt uh, the distributed computing, Apache, Hadoop. The value realization was less, but the intent was there. There was a huge intent to you know, use this data for business value, but unfortunately, the type of skill sets were only with the niche companies. The niche companies like Google, Amazon, Yahoo, those sort of companies, the FANG companies as they call it. And the real value to the enterprises was not yet seen. So what was needed? What was needed was, can we make the value of data a little more easy? Can the tech need not be belonging to that A-league, very few 0.1 percentage of software engineers or data engineers? Can the data be more democratized for the usage by normal companies and make value? A fundamental approach was needed. A fundamental change in the approach was needed. And that next era was an era of cloud. And we all know in this orbit of the data rocket ship, new set of companies emerged. A company which was known to be the e-tailer became the biggest cloud company, which is Amazon, followed by Microsoft came to the line, followed by Google Cloud, followed by IBM, followed by um, Oracle, which was at some point says, you know, we don't see cloud anymore. But then they also say, you know, we are the cloud company. So cloud fundamentally changed the mindset of using data. They made the technology easy that anywhere you are, any type of company you are, you don't need a million dollars of investment to distributed computing. You are a small startup somewhere in any place in India or in Africa or in US or in Europe. You could just go out and click few buttons, get yourself access to an whole new ecosystem where you can run applications, you can run database systems, you can run large analytics engines. And that era was an era where we collected and curated data. A new set of companies born, some companies died. And you know a lot of companies died. I mean, Oracle was number two company. And this era, you know, they were just blown away by the thirst of cloud. So we've covered up to 2020. And now we have entered into the fourth orbit. Any guesses of what this era be? So it's the data rocket ship, right? We're just getting the data, collecting it, creating it from the first place, capturing it, and then third stage, we're making it easy and curate it. And once you have all this fundamental foundation of the data set right, the next orbit is to crack the value, business, return from the data using artificial intelligence. So now when we enter the next era, it is the era of monetization. And a whole new set of companies will be created now. Tesla is the only company which has the market capitalization of put together rest of all other automotive companies because they don't call themselves as an automotive company. They call themselves as an AI company, which captures the data all around what they have, including the computer vision, including the driver patterns, including the roads, you know, and the potholes, and creating the new safety measures. And they say it's a new Apple because, you know, Apple also came up with something called phone and then they entered into new devices like watch, glasses, and so on. So in this era, the new decade, there'll be new companies which will be created and some companies will die or become slow. As this 
audience who's sitting in this room and those who are not there, are your companies have at least accomplished to what 2020 mattered? Are you guys using the modern data platforms to be able to leverage the AI orbit that we are now? Because if you are not, you will miss that lunar shift that is going to happen after the fourth orbit to be having finding struggle of existence. And that's the, you know, the point that I want to convey today, that while you enter into the orbit of AI, it is extremely important to have a very strong fundamental data layer set up. And it'll be very different type of databases. You know, you've worked with distributed computing, you work with relational databases. Unfortunately, the generative AI, the large language models, does not even understand any of those. They work on a new set of databases called vector databases. Now, do you, as an organization, can make use of them? Are you guys on cloud? Are you using the power of the lake houses, data fabric, what the organizations like hyperscalers are offering? Are you up there on your maturity of using the data? Only if you are, you'll be able to leverage this orbit. Otherwise, you'll miss this rocket ship. So it's very important that, you know, and one of the reasons that I thought of picking up this session is to bring that urgency of getting the value of data and being on the, using the modern data platforms. And as you saw just before this uh, presentation, the video, the Lighthouse team in KPMG in India and globally, we are the center of excellence of not just doing the AI and the, you know, the, uh, what we call the more fancy stuff, we also do the hard grunt of setting those modern data platforms and making sure that you're ready for taking the value. And uh, I hope you got that urgency from this meeting and we really look forward to working with a lot of you. Thank you very much.